Robinhood users are having trouble buying cryptocurrency. Their account will show that they have money to spend, but when they go ahead and buy something like Dogecoin or buy Bitcoin, it doesn't work. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you what's going on. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. When it comes to buying stocks on Robinhood, there's something known as instant settlement. This means that you can go ahead and start buying stocks even though you don't actually have money in your account. For example, when you transfer money from your bank to Robinhood, it takes maybe three to five days for that money to actually reach Robinhood and settle. But in the meantime, Robinhood credits your account and says, even though we don't have the money yet, we're just gonna give you credit. You could go ahead and trade, and then in three to five days, we'll get the money. This is also how it works for most crypto exchanges, using maybe Coinbase or Gemini as an example you will send money from your bank to Coinbase and it might take three to five days for that money to settle. But in the meantime, Coinbase says, we don't have the money yet, but we're going to let you trade. And in this case, sites like Coinbase or Gemini, they'll put a lock on your account, meaning that during this period of waiting, you can trade the crypto as much as you want. You can sell it for cash, trade it for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, whatever you want, but we're gonna put a lock on the account after the settlement is complete and we have the money, now you can send your crypto off the exchange. So this is how it used to work for Robinhood Crypto. You can deposit money and instantly start buying crypto. But Robinhood has decided to stop instant deposits and they are temporarily unavailable for crypto purchases. And this means you won't be able to buy crypto with funds from a deposit until it settles, which can take up to five business days to complete and many people are very upset. They're depositing money and now they have to wait up to five days to buy crypto. And the reason that Robinhood is doing this, they claim is due to extraordinary market conditions. Now, they didn't specify exactly what this means, but I think we all know this has to do with Dogecoin and this huge frenzy, everything that went on last week, it's all crazy. So if you're depositing money from the bank, you're gonna have to wait. And now I know there's people watching and saying, well, I already had money in Robinhood. You know, I had $20,000 worth of stock. I sold all of it and it shows I have $20,000, but it's not letting me buy any Bitcoin. It's not letting me buy any Dogecoin. And the reason is because Robinhood has turned off settlement for this as well. For Robinhood crypto, funds from stock, ETF and option sales become available for buying within three business days. So pretty much crypto held on Robinhood is held hostage because there are no deposits and withdrawals. So to remedy this problem, you can't even just send your crypto to a new exchange and start trading. And this is why I have been saying for eight months that Robinhood crypto is not a good idea because there are no deposits and there are no withdrawals and people thought that this was a crazy idea, but for whatever the reason is, now here we are today, people wanna to take their crypto off of Robinhood because they don't wanna deal with any of this delayed or this, they want instant buying, they want instant settlement, but they're not gonna get it here at Robinhood. And same thing for PayPal. I made a video in the past, PayPal crypto is not a good idea. And listen, will PayPal experience the same issues as Robinhood in the future? I don't know, but as long as it is a possibility, it does not sit comfortable with me. So I was speaking with my friend who works on Wall Street and I heard his side of the story. He was saying Robinhood had to do this. They have a lot of hedge funds and institutions that they are closely associated with. They have all of these compliance rules and regulations they need to follow. And also they wanna prevent themselves from any lawsuits in the future. And what I said to him is the end user doesn't care. All the end user cares about you listening is what you're receiving. You don't care if Robinhood has their own issues or you're not understanding if why or if they had to actually do this. So what is the simple fix? You just go ahead and you move to a new platform. But as mentioned numerous times before in previous videos, there are no withdrawals for Robinhood crypto. And this is why I'm saying right now, it is not a good idea, I'm saying this again, to use PayPal crypto. If you ever were to be in a similar situation using PayPal, in the future. You don't want your crypto to be held hostage. Prepare early because right now there has been a major influx of new users onto exchanges and these exchanges were not ready for this. They didn't have the capacity. They didn't have the right infrastructure set up. A good example is Voyager app. This is a very good application to go ahead and buy crypto. They have Dogecoin. They have many other cryptocurrencies as well, but now people are on a wait list. 
You can go ahead to Coinbase, but Coinbase doesn't have a wide selection of cryptocurrencies. If you want a wider selection, you can go to Binance US or you can go to Kraken, but you always want to be, be prepared early and you only want to use an exchange that allows deposits and withdrawals. If at a future date, Voyager app, Coinbase, or Binance says, we're going to put restricted crypto buying on your account, no problem, send your crypto off the exchange. But in this case of Robinhood, you can't do that. But for those of you that are planning on leaving Robinhood totally, because they also have put restrictions on stock buying, again, whatever the reason is, even if it makes sense, even if you think that they had to do it, the end user doesn't care. They're just gonna go to a platform where they can actually buy these stocks. So luckily you can transfer your stocks out of Robinhood, but you cannot transfer your, your crypto out of Robinhood. So for those of you that are going to make the move, there is some important tax information you must know about before you go ahead and do the switch. So I made a video on it. Go ahead, click the link right now, right above. Definitely will be worth your time. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.